Hey guys, what's up? Long time no see. I hope you're doing fine. I hope you have a great time. I hope you still stay safe. Today I'm gonna give you an update on all the animations and the animation blending and gameplay mechanics that we've worked on past couple of weeks. Besides finishing basically the Southern Air Temple and beginning to work on Kyoshi Island, on which I will share the progress soon. So yeah, let's begin. First of all, we worked a little bit on the running animations. We improved all animations in terms of memory usage, so we basically can add more things to the scene. And yeah, we added another double jump animation a front flip and we improve the ledge grabbing and the ledge grabbing mechanic in general as well as adding a backflip if you pull the stick back and then jump while hanging off a ledge we also added a roll that you can perform while hitting circle and yeah now we have a ledge hanging movement animation that moves you left and right and i put some effort into the ledge grabbing mechanic in general so it works better all the time and it barely does not work i try to figure out what's still wrong with it but 99 percent of the time it does work so that's great and yeah, the combat roll that you can activate manually also triggers if you fall from a decent amount of height. So Aang basically dampens his fall. If there is a ledge in front of your fall, he will not perform the combat roll, so you don't roll off any surfaces and fall to your death, basically. And yeah, if you played the Sly Cooper games back in the day, my all-time favorite series, by the way, you can now jump and press the circle button to land on poles. And this is also possible from pole to pole and he will perform the double jump to jump on the pole and I added a procedural animation while you are standing on a pole as well as a landing animation on the pole so when you are balancing on the pole you don't have to do anything he will stay attached to it so you can choose the direction jump and then press again the circle button to jump on another pole and I think the procedural animation that I added here looks really, really good I think this might actually be my best work so far <laughs> Looks really organic and is super thermo efficient, so basically super memory efficient. I will try to do more procedural animations in the future with that technique. Uh, it's very effective and I really like it. So yeah. We also improved the airball animation quite a bit and changed the physics on it a little bit. It's quite a bit faster now, but this will be an unlock in the skill tree. So this will be, I wouldn't say late game, it would be like two skill points in. So I will show you another stuff that we've worked on in a second. And the air scooter basically will come after that unlock. So yeah. It's the fastest way to get around the map. And yeah, this is the newest addition to the mechanics. This is basically Aang's super sprint, super run, um, where he kicks off some dirt uh, behind him. And this is the second fastest way to get around. This will basically be one of your first unlocks in the skill tree, so you can traverse the map a little bit faster. And after that, as I said, will come the air scooter that you can use to really go through the map fast. And I already tested it with every map that we have so far, so the Southern Water Tribe, the Southern Air Temple and now Kyoshi Island. The scale of Kyoshi Island is pretty much set already too and it works pretty good. It's really fast but not too fast so it works. And yeah, basically a main point that I wanted to do is that every animation blends into every other animation pretty smoothly without much logic, so yeah. And also if you are climbing, Momo will stay on your shoulder, which I think is a really neat thing to do. Because we had a problem where Momo would usually fly around you if you are climbing, um, but it's pretty hard to do that Momo will change the direction if there is something in the way, so yeah. He just sits on your shoulder and I think it looks, it looks nice. And yeah, obviously you can also jump from ledge to ledge. We already implemented some stuff in the Southern Air Temple for that. I will probably show that in an upcoming video. And yeah, then we also have the Aang Copter that you can basically use to glide some distance or to more precisely land a jump. And obviously Momo will also fly behind you if you do that. Oh yeah, and I also added a wall jump mechanic. You can jump from wall to wall like you are used to in every other game. And it works pretty smoothly too. If you stay too long on the side of a wall, you will slide down, however, like this. And you can also jump off the wall if you are sliding down to land on another ledge, maybe. And yeah, the ledge to ledge jump also works on like those really small ledges. So we basically can have some stones that are popping out of the wall that you can jump on. And it also works from a hanging position. I don't know if I want to keep that, but I think it still looks fine. Um, so yeah, this might change, but so far it does work, but we can remove it. Yeah, and overall the goal was that Aang feels already super fun to play in the test level. And I think we already achieved that. He's super fun to steer around and to just jump on things, hang on things, jump from stuff to stuff. And yeah, I want to have the core gameplay of him be as fun as possible. And then if we add stuff to the level, I think it 
will work out pretty great. I really wanted to go for that PS2 jump in one games that you may or may not have played in your childhood. So yeah, this is my main objective for his movement and I think I think we kind of nailed it so far. We might add some stuff here and there too, like the ladder climbing, we already have that into. We still need an animation for climbing up, but uh, we'll get to that. And yeah, Momo will also stay on, on your shoulder if you climb ladders like that. And yeah, that's basically it for this update. This will be included in version 0.7 that I hope to release by the end of the year. If I don't make it to the end of the year, I will also include the Southern Air Temple in that update, but yeah. This is the goal for now and see you in the next one. Probably Kyoshi Island or finally the Koi. I know, I know. You wanna see it too? We already built a map for it actually. And yeah, if you don't wanna wait for any videos, be sure to check out our streams. We stream every Wednesday, Thursday and Saturday now. You can find the link to that in the description. Currently we mainly work on Kyoshi Island. So if you wanna see that early, be sure to check out the streams and otherwise stay safe, wash your hands and bye bye.